Hi there, this is going to be a weekend reading, pretty much focusing on the energies of this Scorpio blue full moon. And whew, I feel tired. I don't feel that it's heavy energy for myself personally, because I feel like I've kind of gone through all of the growing pains previously. Um, you know, I talked about that, that I kind of live in the Kalima energy as that's what I channel. And so, you know, for me personally, it's, it's comfortable energy for me. I feel really, really, really tired, like almost like a newborn baby that just wants to continuously sleep. And oddly, you know, you guys have heard me channel the words revived, renewed, refreshed, things like that, you know, in the past couple of months. And today I woke up and the first words I saw, or the word, that I saw the first word was revival and then I googled it because I said okay let's see what the exact definitions of it are right and so the synonyms of it are resurrection regeneration revitalization awakening stimulation rebirth reintroduction allow me to reintroduce myself motherfuckers you guys heard me say coming out of the dark it is our rebirth right we are going to go through this reawakening for many Scorpio energy is about rebirth it's about death and births so basically endings and new beginnings but as you guys know you can't have one without the other you can't have an ending and not be a new beginning and you can't have a new beginning without the ending it's one in the same it's the infinity of it it's infinite it's never ending there's a death and a birth number eight infinity abundance but it's really more so about never ending it's this It's a circle of life, I guess, if you want to say it like that, like, you know, fucking Lion King. But really, it's just it's the way of life. The ending creates a new beginning. For many of you, it's the death of your old life. It's the death of your old self. The shedding of our old skin, our old, old thought patterns, our old... ways of living I feel tired but I feel renewed I feel revived I feel refreshed at the same time tired but I feel like I'm tired because it's like I've been rebirthed I'm seeing things in a completely different light like a whole brand new fucking baby I don't feel despair and agony and sadness not really I feel this renewed sense of hope I feel that whatever has been planted, the seeds that were planted, are going to grow through the dirt. And for many, it's the growing pains that people really feel. It's that feeling that when you haven't surrendered yet and you're being asked to release and let go and purge, that's what hurts. That's what feels heavy. And remember, I'm sure it's not pleasant when a butterfly grows its wings. So much growth has happened for us that it's as if we have to reintroduce ourselves to the world, you know? This is the new me. Seeing things from a whole new perspective, from a higher perspective, now that you have wings, now that you can fly. Three of Wands. Three, this Scorpio blue full moon talks about the power of three. Oh, I've been talking about threes for a long time. I've always felt it was super important. I can't even tell you probably since the beginning. I've seen three, 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 always three, three, three. And I always knew it was important to me. 
threes. It could be the Holy Trinity for some of you. For some, it could mean Father, Son, Holy Spirit. For some, it's Mother, Maiden, Crown. For some, it is Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Source. However, that three is relevant for you. For me, it's always been super important. And I feel like it comes to you at the right time because you go, oh, I think it's this. Okay, it's that. And then you, it's, something else happens. Oh, the three means this. Okay, something else happens. It's like this continuous learning process because as you guys know we never stop learning especially in these meat suits you always hear me tell you that that we never get to this place of fully knowing not not in this 3d world no fucking way not even when the 5d and the 3d combine we are always battling against being in this meat suit it holds us back many of us have reached almost this super high frequency of getting as close and and being as pure as as in, in your true natural state as possible as your 5d self but will we fully be that no not unless you die and your spirit leaves you no because we're stuck in this suit yes with all the dna upgrades and such we may change and you know even our physical appearances change you know i, I shared with you guys previously that, it, you know, if you look at me before and you look at me now, I, I even look different. And that's a first sign of an awakening and being reborn. Three of Wands, we're waiting for our ships to come in, but we're not waiting in vain. It's this process of like when you plant a seed in the, in the dirt, you know, you comprehend that there's this period of time of growth because you understand I don't pick the fruit the same day I plant the seed. That's you going, oh, fuck fuck i get it now it had to happen this way there needed to be this period of time there needed to be the wait last night i was re-watching my 411 reading titled it's you and a friend of mine pointed it out to me we we're having this you know conversation and she said she was watching it again she said missy you know you got to watch this again and i did and i talk about being able to accept things in grace but also how important the weight is, the weight, that period of time where it's essential. Because as I talked about in that particular video, it was as if like you want to eat a cake, but the fucker is raw. You can't eat the raw batter and expect this delicious fluffy cake. You can lick the spoon, but you still got to wait for it to be cooked. That's this, the waiting period, the weight that period of time for growth, that period of time to get it just right, as I talked about in that 411 reading, just right. It's like everything had to be just right. Not only you have to be just right in your calibration and your vibration, your counterpart that's coming in or coming back in, you know, the opportunities coming to you. And also to really realize that I have the power to create what I want. I have that within me to to say, I want this or I want that. We're not waiting for people to give us opportunities. We are realizing we are the offer. We are the opportunity. We are the power. And I feel like last night I kind of shifted my way of thinking of going, why the fuck am I waiting for things to come my way? I'm going to just create it because I am it. So it's just like shifting your perspective. Three. Three of Wands, <clears throat> the weight. <coughs> Four of Wands, and then it comes. What comes? Union, everything you've ever wanted. 11 11, new beginnings, right? It's this energy of stability. And it's really about trusting that it's going to come. I don't fret, I don't worry, I know it's going to come because I manifest in it. You see what I mean? And then it came up with the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is a bad motherfucker. I have to be very careful not to let my Queen of Swords take over or she would tell everyone to go fuck themselves. My high vibed Queen of Swords is impeccable, precise, sharp, intuitive, but logical. She's ready for war, but she doesn't yield her sword paranoid about war. She has her sword behind her back. She's so intuitive, she knows when to pull it out and when not to. 
She is decisive when she's high vibed. Low vibe, she's hasty. She'll cut your fucking throat first and then ask questions later. This is the high vibration of the Queen of Swords. She's seasoned. This is her after the rebirth. She's been reborn, in a sense, because she's just been refined, I think is the perfect word. Through our rebirth, we've become more refined. I, I, I think that's just the best way to put it. More soft, refined. This is your inner queen of swords, whether you're male or female, becoming more refined. I think because she finally feels for once in her life she can feel peace. This person coming in may bring peace. This, this, the, the abundance that you're aligning with brings you peace. I feel like the Three of Wands is also that energy of alignment. It's so important, right? We don't chase, we align. To align is to surrender, to trust that the weight is going to be worth it. The weight is on purpose. It's as if the Queen of Swords in her low vibration before her refinement goes, where the fuck is it? I want it now. Like Veruca Salt, I want the wool, I want the whole wool. I want to lock it all up in my pocket. It's my bar of chocolate. We all have Veruca Salt within us, especially me as a Queen of Swords by nature. Oh, well, I'm naughty by nature too, honey. Make, make no mistake about that, but I'm also Veruca Salt by nature. Okay, I want it now, daddy. She's had to learn through this weight process to chillax, that it's coming. And that it's, it doesn't come in her time. It comes in divine time. It's almost like she learned the art of patience. So many of us have been learning the art of patience. Mm. Resurrection. Look at that. The judgment card. They're blowing a horn. And look at these people from the graves. They're resurrecting from their graves. They're rising up. It's this resurrection. It's what I felt. It's a revival. I woke up this morning and I saw it clear as day revival in my head. I even went as far as going and listening to um, M's revival album, which I know a lot of people hate and he don't, he's not his biggest fan of that album either, but I happen to love it. Especially love, you know, remind me on there. I just love that song. Um, it's a revival. It's time to rise back up, rise back in love and in power, and in truth, and in knowledge. We're rising back up wiser, kinder, but more seasoned than anything else. Two X's on this card, right? X marks a spot. You've heard me channel that for a couple of months. I hear people nowadays channeling it. Sometimes I channel too early. It's this un, un, unveiling of something. That's what the Scorpio full moon felt like to me. It would be bringing things out of the dark. It would be this reveal. It would be, in many different ways, us revealing our new true selves, the rebirth, the revival of us. It would also be opportunities presenting themselves out of the dark, things being revealed. But really, more importantly, all it is is the seeds that were planted are finally growing and busting through the soil. The rise up. Somebody hears the call. They feel the pull to turn in this direction. To, to, to magnetically be pulled to this person. It's like you're going to get called to where your soul belongs. This would be in your soul mission, right? What am I meant to do? What, what, what is my job here? What am I, why am I here? Those kind of questions get answered through epiphanies, through self-reflection, not by calling a psychic and asking one. Knowing, getting that magnetic pull towards a person. I just know. It's them. It's hearing the call to rise the fuck up. It's like, it's time. <clears throat> and I kept, I kept hearing that. It's time. It's time. Time for two very old souls to come back together. The sun. Masculine energy. But the truth, the rise up from the dirt, right? Illumination. 
reveal. You can't make the fucking up, shit up. The sun is hidden. Excuse me. The moon is hidden. The sun is revealing. Truth, illumination. The truth of the matter is coming out. It's also this revealing. I had this huge epiphany last night that my reveal was a little bit different than what I thought it was. Was it mind fucking blowing to me? It created such a shift inside of me that I went, oh my God, it freed me. The sun is pure happiness. It is joy. It is emotional bliss. It's this feeling of having it all. But what did I talk about earlier with the three of wands? The weight was about growth. The sun is growth. The sun is essential for all living things to grow. It's growth that had to happen during the weight. And now, after this Scorpio full moon, things are going to be revealed. Just the truth of everything. It's like you start to see it and go, wow. Almost like you see it from a different perspective. Imagine looking at something just like this like this right head on it looks very different head on as opposed to if you rose up and looked at it from this angle up above here from a higher perspective it's as if now you're looking at things from a higher perspective you if you're still hanging on to old shit you're going to be squeezed and the purging will not be pretty as i talked about it's like squeezing a fucking pimple that's filled with pus and it's so full and it's just huge and it hurts as opposed to if through time it's been draining already and all of the gunk has been coming out slowly through time then at the end it's really nothing in there it's kind of how i feel i feel like i've been pressed already these past couple of months past you know a couple years <laughs> more so this past couple of months where this scorpio full moon came and i just feel tired because i just feel like i seepy <laughs> i like go sleep I'm fucking tired. But yet at the same time, I know what it is. It's this rebirth happening for me. It's like a newborn baby. The baby is brand new and fresh, but they're tired. It's been a long journey. I'm having ridiculous, crazy fucking dreams, you know, and I'm not a dreamer as an Aquarius. A lot of the dreams are prophetic, yes, but some of it is just about purging and releasing things and clearing it out. Remember, I used this analogy once before where it's like when you try and take a picture on your phone and it says no space no room and so you can't take the picture what you got to do is go through your old shit and delete everything that's sitting on your phone memes quotes pictures videos shit selfies i mean we be hanging on to some shit because we always fully loaded honey i always got something on my phone ready to go I see what I'm saying? Because I don't know if I need to bust a quote that day or bust a selfie, honey. I'm not quite sure. But we always motherfucking prepared. But it's like this purging. You've got to clean it out because otherwise now I can't take new pictures. I can't save nothing on my damn phone. It's like it's clearing out space for us is what it's doing, okay? It's clearing out. So for you that have done a lot of clearing out, you won't, you won't be pressed as bad. Strength. So this is two cards back-to-back -back Leo energy, right? Sun could be Leo energy too. The strength. Somebody, it was, uh, hmm. I want to say so many things and they're going, mm, reel it back in. <sighs> strength would usually be needed to overcome something. Self-sabotage, addictions, things of that sort. Mm, being your own worst enemy wallowing in sadness being the victim whatever the fuck it is also as you can see in this picture she's tamed the beast and you guys have heard me use this analogy quite a few times you know the beast for many of you your counterpart is considered like the beast and then you're considered like bell in beauty and the beast where it's true love and it doesn't matter what people think of the beast not even what the beast thinks of himself she falls in love with the real him not the facade, not the outside. And that's what's really important. That's how this is going to work with our counterparts. We're going to fall in love with the inside of them, not the facade, not their public image, not who they want people to think they are. You're going to fall in love with the soul. She tamed this motherfucking beast, but you also tamed the beast within yourself. 
They keep showing me the castle on the fucking hill too, right? There it is right there. A couple people told me that it was um, St. Michael's Mount from the UK. And I looked it up and bitch, it looked just like it. So I don't know who created these images on these cards, but fuck, it looked just like it. You guys know Archangel Michael is very, very important to me and he always has been. I joke that Archangel Michael is my husband in the 5D. I found it very interesting that <laughs> somebody said, oh, he could be your husband in, 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 in the 3D. You know, his energy could be, could have been reincarnated in the physical. Shit. At this point, you know, people think we're nuts. So we believe that it could be anything. We, we don't go, oh, that's fucking impossible. Anything's possible. The funny thing is, is so many people have went, oh, Archangel Michael is your exact type, huh? Stoic. Cool, calm, and collected, but will fucking pop off and go to war at any second. You know, super protective, but also at the same time lets me run wild and free. For most of us, Archangel Michael is our angel uh, that protects us. And so we each have a different relationship with him. He shows himself to us in different ways. And for me, he's very silent. I've only really communicated with him several times, really. And it's and it's usually mental telepathy, obviously. Um... He kind of just lets me run wild and free. And then I know when I fuck up because he makes it known that I fucked up. But he doesn't make me feel horrible about it. He just lets me know, I fucking told you don't do <laughs> Kind of like how I want my husband to be in this life. I'm wild. And I'm rebellious. And I need somebody that's going to be able to tame me. So in essence, it's like I'm the beast too. Strength perseverance taming the beast within each other being each other's peace page of wands something new starts the spark of hope is what i just heard somebody gets a spark of hope because something happens whether it's a sign whether it's action of something communication or something i don't know two of pentacles finding balance multiple offers will come in also multiple downloads things that you just have to like kind of weigh out too look at that there's the emperor possible aries energy the emperor stoic quiet strategic protective seasoned i've been channeling my emperor who he is we don't know do i have a good idea of who i think he is i do but at the same time, we have to surrender to the outcomes of everything, right? We have to surrender to the outcomes because that's how you manifest. You can't get stuck on a particular outcome. It just doesn't work like that. You have to surrender. Someone comes in. But they've been watching, though. You guys have heard me channel that. I can feel it. I can see him. That's why he's watching. I just, you look at the emperor, look, I got two of cups on the bottom of the deck. Oh, temperance, Sagittarius energy, but temperance is alchemy, but it is also this reconciliation. I pulled temperance also in the intimate reading I did. Remember, I talk about it's like magic. It's like magnetic. It's like they're in, they're in a trance. They feel like you've put a spell on them. That's how strong the magnetic pull is. The emperor has fallen. One of my friends reminded me of that reading last night. And she was like, the emperor's fallen, Missy. And I went back to watch it and I went, I just channel things sometimes so early. That's how come they always tell me shut the hell up when I'm channeling. If you guys watch me on live on Instagram, XI underscore Missy underscore XI. Because I get so ahead of the pack sometimes and they go, shut the fuck up. It's not time yet. And if I don't, they'll, they'll shut my shit off. Like they'll literally pause me or they'll like cut off my feed and shit. Um, the emperor has fallen to his knees, more importantly, though. Surrendered. The emperor has surrendered. And in that moment of surrender is when the rebirth of him started, just like us. So you do you do understand that whatever we've been through, well then fuck, they gotta go through too, shit, right? So it's this understanding of, sometimes I get really upset, and you guys have heard me speak of this out loud and share, that sometimes I get fucking hella pissed, like what is taking you so goddamn long? Like, I don't need you, I'm super independent, I've rebuilt my empire, I don't need you but I want you. 
and that's my new vibration where before I needed, oh, I needed because I was afraid. What if I don't make enough money? What if it doesn't work out with this one? I need, I need. Now, in this Empress energy we got, it's all about, I don't need nothing. I don't need it. I want it. Two people had to fall on their knees, actually. It's that moment of surrender. Whether it was because you had a huge tower moment. And for many, that's going to be very different. Some people we've had, I can't even tell you how many tower moments I've had. Some people have had tower moments with money, career, love, death. Whatever it was is to trigger these awakenings within you. This is the emperor rising back up, the empress rising back up. They're going to rise back up in power and in truth and in knowing. That's the most important thing. You can have a low vibrational emperor. But this would be an emperor coming in high vibes because he's rising up. Five of cups. This is where people need to refocus on things. We were looking at things the wrong way. See, the Five of Cups is about perspective. This person is so busy looking at these cups here, they don't even realize that there's these two cups waiting. These two cups waiting. The Two of Cups that was on the bottom of the deck before. And looky, 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 the Nine of Fucking Cups, Wish Fulfillment. On my live yesterday on Instagram, when I pulled the Queen of Pentacles, you know she's holding a pentacle in the card. Well, tell me how come in my head I saw her holding this ball of, like, light. And it looked like it was encased in like a big glass ball, almost like um, like a almost like a crystal ball, but it was like inside was filled with light. And then I realized, holy fuck, it was all of her wishes and all of her intentions and everything that she's ever wanted. She was holding in her hands. That's all the seeds and the prayers and the intentions we put out there. And then it dawned on me, why am I searching for something when I already have it? It's the illusion of us not having it. I already have everything I seek because what I seek, I am. Ooh, deep as fuck, right? It's how we look at it. See like this? I'm seeking something, but I already have it. It's already here. It's been there all along. It's like, look at that, the tower. I had channeled <clears throat> more than once, hidden in plain sight, like the five of cups. It's hidden in plain sight, but it's hidden because your ass is so focused on this. That's how come when the tower comes and hits, it's realignment. It shifts us. It tries to align us on the right path. It's course correction. It's divine intervention. It's not pleasant sometimes. The tower can be brutal, but the tower is always a gift. And sometimes the tower is this beautiful energy of having epiphanies. Sometimes the tower is that of... A sudden blessing coming and just landing in your lap out of nowhere like lightning striking out of the sky don't ever fear the tower for it is a gift oh fuck me knight of pentacles there was something that was pending sitting in queue so to speak okay they were just waiting it's so funny that i used the analogy earlier about trying to take a picture on your phone and they say no memory space you got to delete shit something was sitting in queue it couldn't come in and now that you have released certain things with the death card remember endings create new beginnings now a new beginning can start because you've released you have let go you've purged an ending has happened now a new beginning can start like fuck you can't make it up the once in a blue moon statement, right? Because again, this is a Scorpio blue full moon. Talks about good luck and fortune and magic. It's why it feels magical. They're going to feel like you put a spell on them too. It's going to be this feeling. The two of you are going to be like in a trance. Did you put a spell on me? No, motherfucker. I am the spell. Queen of Cups being open and receptive. She's softer. I'm talking about the Queen of Swords. See, the two queens came out, right? Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups. This was basically my evolution. Allowing my Queen of Swords to stand down and allow my Queen of Cups to take over. And of course, when you hit the right frequency, you will automatically shift in and out of each queen's energy because 
it's just, you know, you're seasoned enough to do so. But for me, it's about allowing my Queen of Swords to stand down because she was blocking things. Seven of Wands, she was blocking things from coming in. She just was. Because I, what you guys have always heard me say this, right? I want this, I want that, I want it like this, I want it like that, it needs to come in like that. I don't want a famous husband, I don't want this, I don't want that. And then it's like, shut the fuck up, Missy. If your husband is famous, great. Yes, I, I'm, I'm gonna love him for who he is inside. So it doesn't matter if he's famous or not, rich or not successful or not he gonna be with me he gonna be having the same fucking vibrational frequency as me so whatever his circumstances are now i assure we're gonna win in the end so it don't matter how he come to me that's just the outside facade but at the same time i'm controlling and i thought i knew better than the universe the universe is trying to give me something that i didn't ask for but something that is even better than I asked for. And I'm starting to realize that now to go, why in the fuck would I turn that away? It doesn't matter if they're older or younger or if they're shorter or taller or if they're rich or poor, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna attract my counterpart, which is someone on the same vibrational frequency as me. They're gonna be a motherfucking hustler like me. They're gonna be wild and crazy and rebellious like me. But at the same time, they're gonna be like me and be balanced. And we're gonna anchor each other down when need be. Bring each other peace when need be. But fire each other up and root for the other motherfucker when need be. That's the partner in crime right there. That's your Bonnie and your Clyde. Why would I worry about the details when I already know the gist of it's going to be every single motherfucking thing I asked for? I always tell people, I need me a me. And I just feel like that's exactly what I'm going to reel in, like the male version of me. Who else can handle me but me? <laughs> you guys are going to be yin and yang, though, in a lot of ways, so opposites, sure. But also very similar at the same time. It'll be like looking in a motherfucking mirror shit see if anything else wants to come out three of pentacles again every fucking reading three of pentacles a mission together three of pentacles is teamwork and collaboration you guys have a mission together see work a mission a team teamwork this is what twin flames are supposed to be about that you have a specific mission here on earth usually to raise the consciousness, to spread awareness, to do humanitarian work, be philanthropists, things of that sort. This is a person coming into your life that you guys will work together in business. And also though, in is a higher purpose to this union. That's what a twin flame thing is. That's why people go, oh, how come I'm not one? How come? Blah, blah, blah. Well, because it's a job though. I mean, we came here not for fucking vacation and some people just have a different job than others. That's how they're gonna come in too. The emperor after his rebirth comes in as the high priestess, excuse me, <laughs> comes in as the hierophant, which is the counterpart to the high priestess. Spiritually woke. Because he has had that sun crack him open, right? The sun has shown him the truth, illumination. Truth is power. Hierophant. Number five, V, changes. It's also a blessing, a blessed union. Something tells me this person doesn't even realize, this is the male divine counterpart, doesn't even realize how powerful they are. You, if you're a divine feminine, that would mean in every lifetime you would have had something very powerful in that lifetime or you've had powerful roles that don't mean we didn't have shit roles in life because we've had to learn the balance of everything right we come to come to the 3d earth realm to learn so it hasn't been all daisies and roses and fucking tea parties and shit okay we probably was poor as fuck died early had betrayals been murdered whatever the fuck it was right I mean, it's probably been really brutal at times too, but something tells me that the roots of this person and you go way motherfucking back. You're talking like ancient Egypt kind of times. For me, Egypt runs real strong with me in my memories. And, you know, this is something of that sort here too. They are very powerful and spiritual, but even if they don't know that yet, it's like they may not be spiritual and awoke to that yet. But it's like they're going to find, why do I feel attracted to spirituality? Not religion now. 
Very big difference between religion and spiritual. But it's also a blessing. Five of Wands. It's a shit storm. It's a shit storm brewing. Chaos. What is that? Through the tower energy, possibly. Chaos. Oh, shit. Four of Wands landed on it. Chaos. They have to surrender to it. That's what I was talking about earlier. How when he fell to his knees. There it is right there. Four of Wands is in a prayer stance. Retreat. Surrender. Prayer. It's alignment. That's what this motherfucker did through his, his times of fucking chaos and turmoil. When his life was falling apart, when her life was falling apart, I, I did that, the same thing. When my life was falling apart, I always surrendered. Because what else could I do? And every time I... <coughs> I'm sorry, I feel like they're cutting me off. <coughs> every time I surrendered, I got realigned, and I got realigned to everything that I wanted. The surrender was important here. And then you have the King of Swords could be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So you have counterparts here, possibly air signs, but also any sign. This could just be two people that have really refined themselves. They're, they're both coming with the truth because the sword is truth, it's communication, it's clarity, it's power. Two very powerful people. Something about them, it's communication too. So, because I keep seeing the word communication. Swords are about communication, that's why. Two of you guys, communication, you guys could do something of that sort in this lifetime. Communication, um, meaning you could be a radio DJ, you could be a singer, you could, there's something with the voice or the mouth or communication. Maybe you're an author and you write books. Something about communication, the sound. Remember when I first started pulling the judgment card in the sexual tarot magic deck and I read it from the book, it was about the sound of the, the magic of sound or something like that, it said, right? The judgment card in there. Because in the judgment card, they're blowing the horn. Doo -doo -doo, and it's the sound thing. Something about the two of you. It's, or it could be like when you speak, people listen. And here comes Archangel Michael, my husband. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I think he is. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. When I say stuff like that too, I feel him just go. But he ain't denying it though. My right hand man has always been Archangel Michael since my awakening. It, even in my shots, you see I have a space open. Uh, I've always done that, not even knowing why. I cannot even tell you, even when I used to sit in my kitchen right over here, I always it was always off-centered. In the beginning, I think it was straight on. And as, as time went by, I kind of just naturally gravitated towards one side like this. It's almost as if intuitively I've been preparing all this time for my counterpart. And I've actually like literally made room for him in this spiritual journey with me. He's probably going to be doing work like this with me. Pop in every once in a while. Shit, I don't know. Well, maybe not pop in. Well, maybe. Maybe. All right, let's get some angel answer cards out here and then we will end this reading. See if they will tell us anything. So allow yourself to rest and sleep. It's crucial. Growing pains, you know? You know like how they say kids, when, they, when they're growing, they get sleepy and they sleep a lot? Same thing. Listen to your intuition. And then you have your abundance, right? And abundance is going to be everything that's fucking coming in, right? So with abundance here, let's read it from the book. You have great abundance will find its way into your life. Your plans will yield prosperity, providing a sense of security about the future. Your angels will be with you as you take the actions necessary to manifest your dreams. Abundance is not always financial in nature. You may be seeking to manifest new ideas, large circle of friends, a vib vibrant health or romantic love. This card can also reflect an inflow of any of these types of treasures into your life. X marks the spot. Open your arms to heaven to receive with gratitude that which you desire. That's what I felt like I had to do yesterday. I had to accept everything with grace. And really, instead of pushing things away and going, that can't happen, that's impossible. That just seems too good to be true. There's no way. I had to go and actually get on my hands and knees and say, I surrender 
to what is working its way to me. I surrender to this amazing soul that's working his way to me, my counterpart. Someone who I know is going to be, regardless of what the physical looks like or what the bank account looks like, is going to be someone that's just my natural counterpart. Someone who's going to be like my fucking yin to my yang. He's going to be my partner in crime in so many ways where I feel like he's going to watch me be free and wild but also reel me in when I need it. I don't, I, I, I can't be with no soft motherfucker. I can't. I can't be with a soft motherfucker because it's just, I, number one, I'm, I'm not attracted to that. I want someone that's a little more, get the fuck over here, but speaks very few words. <laughs> I don't like a chatty motherfucker either. Except I feel like me and my husband are going to be like in the bed going, tee, 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 pss, pss. oh my God. But in general, like I don't want to walk out into a, a party or a room and he be chatting and, and talking to everybody's motherfucking ears off. I don't know. I just like somebody who's naturally more to themselves, more quiet, more observant. But me and him, we're going to be talking each other's ears off. See what I'm saying? So I already know these things. Like I trust that the universe is going to serve me and me. And... Why would I worry about that? Because I know that I'm doing the best job being the best version of me. And that's all I need to be focused on. We need to be able to get to this frequency that we become magnets to miracles and abundance. You become a magnet, bitch. Shit. This is beautiful energy. I'm sleepy already now after this. <laughs> Rest, sleep purge if you feel upset be upset get out of your system remember you got to feel it to heal it but also at the same time i think i'm going to leave you with these words it's very important to accept what's not for you just like we accept what is and vice versa very important all right you guys if you want to book a reading with me click on the box below Please always know what you want to do and which reading you want first before you email me. Okay, it cuts down on the back and forth time. I will be taking pre-orders for the Prophecy Bracelet soon because that's what they're telling me to do. Bloom bracelets have been mailed out, okay guys? There were a couple people that I've been waiting on responses from as far as emails go because I print the labels through PayPal and you guys know the spiel. Sometimes they won't let me print it because something's wrong with the name or the address or something. Other than that... A Star is Born bracelets are going to be coming out soon. I feel like when a Star is Born is mailed out, when, 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 I can't even talk, when the Star is Born bracelets are mailed, I feel like it's going to be at just the right time when you are kind of at the pinnacle of whatever this is, being the star, in whatever way, shape, or form that is. Maybe you will become a star. Maybe you will meet a star. Maybe you would just shine super fucking bright like a star and your light is just going to be magnetic to people. I don't know, but it's going to be very star-like qualities, okay? All right, you guys, follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. I hope you enjoyed this free reading. And for the motherfuckers that's constantly grumbling about everything about me, if I sit like this, too much ceiling, you swear too much, what you wear, you, you talk about yourself too much, free motherfucking 99 thank you okay stop focusing on the little things that are distracting you from the message okay that's a lesson in itself hunties focus on the fact that it's free 99 motherfuckers all right see you guys later bye